Today we're going to be looking at another addition problem, but this time we're going to have a small number and a large number. And for our large number, we're going to be using a number bond to show numbers in the ones place and numbers in the tens place. If we look, we can see that our problem is 2 plus 15. For our 15, we have our ones place over here on the left, which is our 5, and our tens place over here on the right, which is 10. One group of 10. So now that we know 15 is a 5 and a 10, and we're adding, we can add all three numbers together. So I'm going to bring my 2 down here, plus 5, plus 10. Now, the first thing we want to do is use our numbers in the ones place. Since 2 is in the ones place, and 5 is also in the ones place, let's add these together first. We can use our number line. I'm going to use my number line, and I'm going to start at 2. And I'm going to jump over 5 times. That's 2 plus 5. Let's count with me to 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 2 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 brings me to 7. Now that we know 2 and 5 is 7, I'm going to put a 7 here, and I'm going to add it to my 10. Now this is much easier if I write my numbers like this. I'm going to bring my 10 up here, and then I'm going to add my 7 in the 1's place. Let's add them together. 0 and 7 makes 7. 1 and 0 gives us 1. That's 10 plus 7 equals 17. Alright? So, we can write our answer over here as 17. Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be looking at a different kind of problem and this time we're going to be using a number bond to help us take away a smaller number from a bigger number. Alright? So our bigger number today is 14. A 14 is made of two numbers. It's made of a 4 in the ones place and a 10. Alright? So first thing I want to do is we're going to take away the smaller number from our tens place. I'm going to write 10, take away 7. Let's start. If we start at 10, then we count back 7 times. Let's see what number we get. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 10, take away 7, gives us 3. Alright, so 10, take away 7, is 3. Now, because we took away the 7, and our 10 is now a 3, I can add these two numbers together to find out my final answer. So, 3 from here plus 4 from here that we haven't used. 3 and 4 gives us, let's count, 1, 2, 3, plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 3 and 4 is 7. Okay? So 14 take away 7 gives us 7. Hello again everybody. Today we're going to be looking at a takeaway word problem with a comparison model. This is called a comparison model because we're comparing two numbers. What we want to know is if we start with this number, how many more do we need to get to the bigger number? Let's begin by reading our problem. 
Teacher Art has 150 oranges and 110 apples. How many more oranges than apples does he have? Let's start by writing down our oranges in the model. Because 150 is our bigger number, I'm going to use this bigger block to represent my oranges. I can write my oranges on the left. Oranges, right here. Now, it says I have 110 apples. Because 110 is smaller than oranges, I'm going to write it in my smaller box. Apples. So I have my oranges here. How many? 150. I can write 150 inside this box. And how many apples? 110. I'm going to write 110 right here. So we can see that I need to find out how much do I need to put here so that these will be the same. I could find out by taking away my smaller number from my bigger number. Let's write a subtraction problem to help us understand. Start with our bigger number, 150. Take away 110. Of course, we start in the ones place as usual. In this case, we have nothing in our ones place, so I'm going to bring my zero down here. Now, we can move on to our tens place, right here. Since we have five, we're taking away one. Five take away one gives us four. With our hundreds place, we have one take away one. Because we don't write any zeros on our left, we can see all that we have is 40. So 150 take away 110 gives us 40. Now, this is our number, 40, right here. Let's try it out by adding these numbers together and checking our work. We want to know if 110 and 140 makes 150. I'm going to check my work one time. 110 apples plus how many more? 40 should give us 150. Let's see. 0 and 0 is 0. 1 and 4 is 5. And 1 since we're adding, gives us 150. All right, we checked our work and we were correct. So 110 plus 40 gives us 150. One more time. Teacher Art has 150 oranges and 110 apples. So how many more oranges than apples does he have? He has 40 more oranges. Hi everyone. Let's take a look at our next problem. This is going to be called the grouping method. So we're going to take a large number and we're going to share that large number into several small groups. Let's start by reading our problem together. You buy 16 strawberries. You give all the strawberries equally to your four friends. How many strawberries does each friend get? Okay, let's read our first sentence one more time. You buy 16 strawberries. So, I know that my total number is 16, and because I want to see what I'm doing, I'm going to draw 16 little circles for each strawberry. Now, when I draw them, I'm going to count, and I want you to count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 
All right, that's all 16 of my strawberries. You give all the strawberries equally to your four friends. Okay, so I know I'm putting my 16 strawberries into four groups. One group for each friend. One, two, three, four. Let's close these circles. And because it says equally, I know that I need the same number in each bag. And it's all of my strawberries, so nothing is left over. Let's read the last sentence. How many strawberries does each friend get? Well, let's find out. I can learn by taking two strawberries and putting them into each group, and then I could see if I have some left over. One, two. I'm going to cross these out because I'm done with them. One, two. One, two. One, two. Okay, I still have some more groups of two here. So I'm going to put another one into each bag and see if I have more left over. One, check. One, check. One, check. And one. Okay, so I have four left over. I think I could put one more in each bag and then that will be all of my strawberries. All right, so now I have one, two, three, four groups, and I want to make sure that they're all equal. So I'm going to count the number in each group. One, two, three, four. That's four. One, two, three, four. That's another four. One, two, three, four. Four, one, two, three, four. All right, so I have four in each bag. All my bags are equal. But I want to see if it's 16. I got to make sure that all of my bags add up to be 16. This number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. All right. So I had 16 strawberries. I put them into four groups, or you could say I divided by four, and that gives me four in each bag. 16 strawberries divided into four groups gives me four in each bag. So it looks like our answer is four. Hello everyone. This time we're going to be looking at a problem with addition using two two-digit numbers. Let's start by looking at our problem. We have 45 plus 38. What we want to do first is separate the ones place from the tens place. I'm going to write ones since this is my ones place. We can begin by adding our 5 and our 8 together. Let's start. 5 plus 8. Because we know that this number is going to be larger than 10, let's use a number line to figure out the problem. I'm going to start at 5, and I'm going to move along 8 times to find my answer. Let's count to 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 5, plus 8 equals 13. We're going to write 13 in my box right here. Since we're only doing the ones place right here, I'm going to take my 3 and I'm going to put it here. Now I can carry over my 1, since this is one group of 10, to my tens place. Let me write tens right here. So we're finished with our ones, we can do our tens. Now we're going to add a four, a three, and our one from before. Let's add these together. Four, 
3 and 1. 4 plus 3 makes 7. 7 and 1 is 8. So we know that our number in the tens place is going to be 8. This makes our answer 83. Let's read that one more time. 45 plus 38 is equal to 83. Welcome to our last problem, everyone. This time, we're going to be looking at a takeaway problem with two-digit numbers. For this problem, we can start by reading. So the number is 31 take away 27. As always, we're going to start taking away in our ones place. We have a one take away seven. Let's move that over here. One take away seven. Because one is too small to take away seven, I need to borrow a number from my tens place. I'm going to borrow 10, bring it over to here, and I'm going to make this number from a 1 to an 11. I just added 10. Because I added 10 over here, I need to take this 3, cross it out, make it a 2. 3 take away 1 equals 2. So now, I can subtract from my ones place because I have a bigger number and a smaller number. Let's do 11 take away 7. I'm going to count back on my number line. We're going to start at 11 and we're going to go back 7 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 11 Take away 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 gives us 4. 11 take away 7 is 4. I'm going to write 4 in my 1's place. Now I can do my 10's place. I have a 2 in my 10's place and I have another 2. 2 take away 2 is 0. Because I don't need to write a 0 to my left, I can leave the answer as 4. So that's 31 take away 27 equals 4. Now I want to check my work by adding 4 to my 27 and seeing if it gets me 31. Let's try. 27 plus 4. 4 and 7, let's count this, 4 plus 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, is 11, just as before. I'm going to write a 1 here in my 1's place, and then I'm going to write the other 1 in my 10's place. 1 and 2 is 3, so that's 31. 27 plus 4 equals 31. So we can see that our answer is correct. 31 take away 27 equals 4.